What is going on guys? Welcome back to the One Delta Street web show. Do you really know? Today we are joined by the amazing, the mixer badass, Sniping for Dom. Sniping, I just want to say thank you very much uh, once again for taking part in taking time out of your schedule. <laughs> Look at that man's face right there. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to start this show. <laughs> I had to throw you off a little bit, man. I had to throw you off a little bit. <laughs> I've just told this dude that I'm feeling nervous right now. That's <laughs> thank you very much, mate. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, guys, thank you for watching uh, very episode four for Sniping for Dom's uh, sniping. That was a very uh, good episode, and thank you very much for your time. <laughs> <laughs> Can we help. See you, everybody. <laughs> um, no, seriously though, I do appreciate it because I know you took time out of your schedule today uh, to be on the show and I'm very grateful that uh, to have this opportunity to, to get to know more about you. I've followed uh, Sniping for Dom for a good few months now and I'm definitely addicted to his channel. I'm not in there as much as I, I would like to be now and I'm guilty of that, but that's because, you know, partnership and things like that. But if you guys haven't followed Sniping for Dom and you love some Call of Duty, that is, this is a guy you're going to want to follow, man. So everybody right now, make sure you follow Sniping for Dom. If the moderators can shout him out, flood the chat with the shout outs. Guys, the alerts are not on today and I will, we will not be interacting with the chat today. So you're in the hands of the moderators. And, um, <coughs> Without further ado, we're going to get into the questions. Um, first question, uh, who is your dentist? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's down in West Virginia by some place <laughs> south by God. I, yeah. He's he married to his cousin, but yeah. uh, he's been doing work for me for about 18 years. I love the guy. Love him. Shout out for that, man. Like, hammer and a chisel. <laughs> you know I mean? old, 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 old style. Old style. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so whereabouts are you from? Uh, Dom, your name's Derek, isn't it? <clears throat> it is. It is Derek. I like how you guys can't really do the L's, or you do the L's instead of the R's. That's yeah. I love that shit. That's phenomenal. Oh, that's a um, Scottish accent. Yeah. making fun of your guys. You know, sometimes we throw random <laughs> letters in. We actually have sixteen letters in our alphabet, so it's not our fault. You know, <laughs> that's why no one understands what the fuck we're saying. <laughs> Uh, but I am uh, in a cornfield, basically. If you if you want to bring it down to that, I, I live in Ohio. I am. If you know anything about American football, I live in Canton, Ohio, where the football hall of fame's at. Oh, really? So you're, yeah, you're a huge football man, like you. I am not. I hate fucking football. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you gotta move. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You gotta go back down to West Virginia with your dentist. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. <laughs> so if you don't like football, um, what hobbies do you have then? What do you do in your free time when you're not live on Mixer? My hobbies, man. Uh, really, uh, the time that I get away, because I am a full-time streamer, and um, the way I navigate my business is grind, 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 grind. Yeah, just constant work. Seven days a week. So if I get a chance to step away... I like to hang out with uh, friends, my son, uh, my girlfriend, and do a little bit of drinking, man. That's, you know, and eat some good food. That's basically, I'm, I'm a very easy, normal guy. I like that, mate. I like that. I see guitars in that behind you, you into your music. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What you do when you're drunk? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the old uh, sipping back a couple shots and then just howling at the moon, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty much what it sounds like. It's shit. It's straight trash. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even have strings on them. <laughs> They've been there for four years. <laughs> um, so yeah. drinking, you like drinking as a hobby. I think you might have a little bit of Scottish in you. Let me hear the Scottish accent. Delic, screw you. Screw you. <laughs> screw you. <laughs> Screw ye! <laughs> that that's good? actually not. Yeah, that's not too bad. Actually, you had the e part. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you got that nailed mate you got that nailed um so when did you realize you had the passion for gaming because you can tell that you've got a really high skill level when it comes to playing games so have you has this been like ever since you were growing up have you played games at a young I age because i think i'm complete and utter ass at playing <laughs> games so uh uh no man um i think my first i remember the nintendo when it came out <clears throat> but i think the big console for me and believe it or not, it's a crazy day because I've stepped away from the game. But the new Mortal Kombat comes out tonight. Yeah. Um, my biggest memory gaming would have been Sega Genesis, the very first Mortal Kombat that ever came out. I remember my dad when there was a blood code that yeah. you had to put in A B 
A-C-A-B-B-A would turn on the gore in yeah. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> and I used to hide in my room just to see the bloody mess and massacre <laughs> that would happen. So that's, that's my biggest memory, I think. Yeah, I can tell. It must have been a, like, a very important memory if you still remember it to this day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so was that your first games console then, the Genesis? That, that I guess I took kind of pretty serious, and then I, you know, you growing up, I, I wasn't, I, I'm not like a normal gamer. I didn't play Zeldas and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I, it was always more the interaction with somebody else, which would be nowadays multiplayer, obviously. Yeah. Um, but uh, when Counter-Strike in high school, that's probably where I became into my competitiveness of playing video games. Is that so? So that was your first one. Then moving on to like uh, Counter Strike. Is that where you got your, like your first person shooter? Like yeah, that, yeah, that was, called you? yeah. I, I remember playing like GoldenEye on the sixty four. Classic. I knew I knew I loved shooters. Yeah. It just fe- you know it just felt good. And plus, <laughs> I'm a very ragey person, so I want to yell and scream. If I kill you, I'm getting up in front of you, and I'm literally <laughs> dipping my ball. <laughs> In your fucking mouth. <laughs> I think this man may have met, invented the tea bag. <laughs> I'm old enough for it, that's yeah, for maybe, sure. Maybe, maybe. Um, I like that as well because, you know, the, the previous two guests we've had uh, would, was Jules D4W and Psycho Plays, and those were like your traditional uh, Zelda. Those Zelda was both, those, both great of those favourite games. Oh, they're amazing partners. They're absolutely fantastic. <laughs> um if you guys haven't checked out the previous uh, episodes of Do You Really Know, they're on YouTube right now. All you have to do is search for One Delta Street and you can check up, uh, catch up with the interviews that we've already done and check out the interviews with uh, the amazing mix of partners we've had. We've had Finristics on the launch episode and then we had the following week, uh, Psycho Plays, and then last week was Jules D4W. Absolutely fantastic pleasure to get to know them. And it's a really good change as well. I like a little bit of variety. So now we've seen sniping for Dom's genitals smash his desk. So uh, it's a little bit of a variety right now, guys. I'm, I'm fucking enjoying it. Let me say that, please. I didn't even have to use the Zoom there. To, I didn't have to use the Zoom right there. That was, mm. oh, shit. <laughs> it was beautiful, mate. That's getting, that's, getting on, that's getting on Twitter in a slow motion right there with some Titanic music, <laughs> let me tell you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of dreading to ask this one. What were you like in high school? Like, how, how did this? <laughs> were you exactly? You didn't do your homework. Like, there you go, how miss. Did this fucking there mess you go, come miss. about. <laughs> I was a uh, believe it or not, man. I was one that didn't really buy into uh, uh, clicks or anything like yeah. that. If they were a good person, I hung out with them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I was a class clown. I did a lot of fucked up shit. I still do at 36 years of age. I still do a lot of fucked up shit. I want yeah. people to smile, man. That's my yeah. main goal. Sometimes making somebody smells like calls for drastic measures, like doing the worst things. But it, like you know, like for instance, you make the they make the best memories by doing the worst shit because you can laugh about it. You know, like right. a few years down the line, depending how bad it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah i'll yeah. just laugh when i get out of jail okay <laughs> you know what this is all about getting to know me so i'll tell two little small stories real quick i'll make them very painless um i threw my math teacher's computer out of a three-story window just because he told me i couldn't go to the bathroom i literally got up and said this is gonna be funny as shit not thinking of the repercussions yeah, okay i got up grabbed his pc Ripped it out of the wall, threw it out the third story window. That got me about a week out of school. So, yeah, um, uh, yeah definitely a, a fun, uh, not so fun <laughs> holiday. I'm pretty sure my dad beat the shit out of me. But <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he didn't uh, email your dad. You know what I mean? He couldn't email your dad about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, <clears throat> I had a. There was a principal that really didn't like me, man. He didn't like my comedic antics and told me that I wasn't funny. Um, so I slashed a whole bunch of tires, including his, uh, teachers and yeah. Oh yeah. We're going on. We're y'all want to fucking know the real me. This yeah, is I like it. right here. Transparency. Teacher, I pissed off. I, I am really 
not fucking sorry. You shouldn't have <laughs> fucked with me. That's all I'm saying. You should have. <laughs> when I and say then, uh... he's a badass guy, he's, that's like Derek is, is an absolute badass. <laughs> he don't give up. This is how many fucks he gives. Zero fucks. <laughs> <laughs> I was really into PCs. This will be the last one and we'll move on. I was really into PCs uh, back then. And uh, uh, my computer teacher, this guy was just a straight doucher, man. I mean, just a just a fucking degenerate asshole and he told me that i would never amount to anything oh, um in the, in the computer world so i made sure that uh that i took some of that system down there at the school they had to call my dad in and everything it was yeah it was it was fun it was good times <laughs> look at this look at the genuine <laughs> smile on that man's face right now when he's saying, <laughs> he, he means it he <laughs> So do you have yeah. do you have any bad habits like that you, you do right now? Like, if, is there any bad habits you have that you can? Have Obviously, like the people that are watching, my mouth is a bad habit. You know, I yeah. I I have a strong belief that I I make people smile on a day to day basis. I've helped people uh, overcome depression, yeah. suicide, you know, uh, divorces and stuff like that. But I am who I am, and I do it in my own way. Yeah, a exactly. lot of can't handle my mouth you know i'm i'm vulgar yeah i mean to put plain and simple it's it but the things that i do behind the scene or what i do for everybody on stream every single day um i think that outweighs yeah, yeah. my mouth i just oh yeah definitely cuss, man everybody cusses it's part of like as a part of growing up like and it doesn't make you a bad person like you could have you could be the nicest most genuine person in the world and you know Say all the bad shit in the world. <laughs> say, 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 big strong f word, f bombs every single day. Um, what's your pet hate? Do you have any pet hates? Does someone maybe say more bad shit than you? Is? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I. You know, I really don't know. Well, I honestly, that accent's got me fucked up, and I'm not exactly sure what you just said. <laughs> what is my what? Your, your. Hold up, we gotta go to stream mode. What's up, guys? One day on the street. Okay, we got it. Uh, what is what is your? <laughs> okay, go go go. What is your pet hate? Like, what do you what what do you like? What takes you off in the world? Is like somebody do something like you know people are rude or don't say thank you like things like what takes you off? Oh, no, you know I think it's people. Look, we all put on pants the same way. Okay, most of us do. We all we're all in this life together yeah we all have good times we all have bad times the people that walk around with the chins up you know what i'm saying the ones that tell us that we can't do something that's the shit that pisses me off because anyone that comes to me that tells me they want to be a fucking porn star they want to be a streamer they they want to be a professional athlete you know yeah. what i'm gonna say tackle your fucking dream do the fucking work and i promise you you will get there it's never gonna be Nah, man, that this isn't for you. Yeah, Fuck yeah. that. I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people like, like end up doubting them, doubting themselves, sort of things, and just dreaming. Right. They're, you know how many people told me that I couldn't play video games and make it a living, even when I was making it a living? Yeah. They were like, "You can't do this. This this isn't. You got you got a kid. You cannot do this." Yeah. And it just pushed me even harder. Like so, nas like naysayers and people like like sort of thing like naysayers sure. and people doubting themselves. There's a that there's a saying I've, I think of it, I think it was uh, King Bailey Bomb that told me this. Um, make turn your dream into a plan and then go from there. So I like that. That's brilliant. That's so, fucking brilliant. What's what's your favorite position to sleep in? To sleep in, like sex, <laughs> sexual position. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Is this when you're behind me or if I'm on top of you? On behind you and on top of me. No, yeah, no, definitely you. Fuck my girlfriend. We, I can give. We a spoke shit about this. Girl. Come on, man. We oh, spoke. Yeah, cool. uh -uh. <laughs> talk about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I would have got, to say. Hold, hold up, guys. We got to go to 25 plus right now. <laughs> 25. <laughs> Turn that rating up a little bit. <laughs> um, sexual position, man. In, in all honesty, I, I guess I'm a basic white bitch when it comes to this. I would say. Uh, <laughs> I would say uh, doggy style. You, you gotta okay, ass. we don't know. It was just for a joke. <laughs> oh, I was really about, I was dedicated at this point, man. He was very into that. Well, here's the thing, guys. The older you get, it just becomes boring. You know, it's, it's, it's always missionary and one of you are always asleep. So we'll just go with that. Yeah, right. Whether she's comatose or not, yeah. you know, it's either me or we. 
Yeah. One of us is fucking... <laughs> <laughs> if you could, uh, I, I should probably take that question out. You know, I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you could only play one game for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh man! Even though I know it's my job, it, it's it's off my all my growth pretty much. I would still have to say Call of Duty, man. That's really? that's supported me, yeah, mentally and you know uh, as a job for as a business, for, yeah. You just yeah. have you do, but you remember you have to hope that ninety nine other people chose that game too, otherwise you're fucked. <laughs> You've been there in that game yeah. solo. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> if there was one thing in your life um you could change, what would it be? One thing in my life. Um I guess I would have to say and I know there's gonna be people out there that say that I already am this person. Um I want to be a better father. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, you know, we, when you're, when you're taking care of someone else in the world, you, you always feel like you're not doing enough. Yeah. Um, kid's spoiled. I know that he's got a great and awesome mom. He's got a great and fucking awesome dad. I just wish somehow, some way, maybe, maybe it's, I drink a little less. I mean, I don't drink when he's around, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But maybe it's, I get myself a little bit more healthier for him. It, whatever it is, it's coming down to him. Yeah, you know everything you do. That's the thing about being a father as well. Like everything you do, or any like a parent, like like mother or father, like anything you do is always like it doesn't matter if it's about you. Like it's, you know, it's always going to be about them. Do that. Uh, like I had a baby girl. I didn't have a baby girl. My girlfriend had a baby girl uh, eleven months ago. <laughs> <laughs> I just put in thirty seconds of the work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But like everything, all your life choices now, it's not like what it's about you. It's about the, your, uh, your, your child. Effectively, mm. I like that. Like, like you would, it would be. I think it'd be a little bit fair to say that you know, coming like the way you come come across with your vulgar mouth and something like that. Some might portray you as you know, like a oh, fucking badass sure. sort of thing. But I, I can see from your Instagram and your Twitter feed, like you are such like a really amazing father, and you, you it's clear that you love you love your son. Thanks, man. I, I love really it. Appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> what's your most embarrassing moment? I don't think I'm, I'm, I don't think you would have one. <laughs> have you gotten a most embarrassing? I tell you what, moment? man, and it's you know I've done a lot of ridiculous things just to make people laugh because, like I said, I just want people to smile, man. Yeah. Anyone could be having a bad day, and you never know. They could be on the verge of wanting to jump off a cliff. With a smile on their face. Yeah. So as a, that, that's my main goal in life, and it always has. I know that that's my purpose. Um, I would have to say probably one of the coolest things from streaming and embarrassing. Um, my community is awesome. Okay. Yeah. They support me like no other community I've ever seen, especially for a mid range. I'm not talking about quality wise, I'm just talking about number wise currently. Yeah. Um, I have <laughs> my community. I, you know, I was like, yo, let's raise up some money, blah, 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 let's do some good things. I'll shave my head, my eyebrows, my beard. Okay. I might look okay. Like, I mean, let's not get it twisted. I look sexy as shit right now. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie yeah. about that. I'm yeah, not I'm, gonna... just, I'm just glad the camera's pointing up this upper half. <laughs> <Yeah. I'm> <laughs> but when I, uh, I think we came up with like fifteen hundred dollars in like thirty minutes oh. for me to shave my head, my eyebrows, and my beard. I look like goddamn Butterbean, bud. Yeah. I look like I should have been on a fucking. I was a poster child supporting leukemia or something like as sad as it is to say my dad actually looked at the picture before i even told him what happened and he was like hey uh how bad is it yeah I'm like, i remember I'm like, checking what? into your stream when you were telling me that, that when you done it <laughs> he literally just... asked me he was like how far along is the cancer and i'm like dad i just shaved my fucking head <laughs> my eyebrow like it looked i looked rough man so i would say when i went to the store i had to buy a hat man because at that time i was working with a handicap group home uh -huh. and i couldn't really show up looking like that yeah um i went to go buy a hat at the mall i told the guys i had made a vlog out of it and everything it's on my youtube channel i told the guys i was like they're like dude that's wild and i was like yeah but i gotta walk around like this for fucking two and a half months yeah they enjoyed it my hat for me for free with the sniping for Dom logo on it and everything. Oh, really? Because they thought it 
so cool. Yeah. Oh, nice man. I remember. <laughs> I, I remember hosting you actually. I think I dropped. Uh, I dropped the host on you. I was I was giving it the big licks. I was giving it large. I'm saying, stay with Dom. Let's go. We're going to go raid this guy. Go break his chat. It looks like Chuck Liddell. It looks amazing. Let's go. And then here we were. This bald, fucking hairless guy. I like. <laughs> I'm like spam the chat, and then I'm looking at it. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh man, this yeah. Guy, <laughs> is, is, is that a filter? What's happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> looks like I just raided me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. So, what is your uh, what's your biggest accomplishment? Get it. What yeah. is your biggest accomplishment? Uh, I would have to say never giving up, man. I don't know if this is going to uh, come in between any other questions along down the line in the interview today. Um, I'll state something really quick, and then if there's yeah. something to come towards the end, then you could say let's hold off on that. Yeah. Um, I used to be really big on Twitch uh -huh. when I started this whole thing. Um, I ended up getting banned off of Twitch for sticking up for my son. Someone went out and said uh, that they wanted to rape him, pour gasoline in his asshole, and set him on fire. I went, as any parent would, I went off at the mouth <clears throat> um, pretty pretty hard. Yeah. And, uh, and um, they banned me off for harassment. Um. It was it was a rough time because that sent me into a dark place because I dude at that time I was making anywhere between three to six thousand dollars a month yeah just off donations I was I had eight hundred to two thousand people watching me at all times oh, so I, I was in the top three cod spots every single day on Twitch which is populated as hell yeah so you started off on Twitch then. And then I moved over to uh, – I almost gave up, man. If it wasn't uh, – you know, to name bomb these guys, these these were big influences, and I'm sure I'll miss a couple, but Phil Daddy, uh, Fluffy Nightmare, uh, Dante, and a few other people, they said, look, dude, like you have something going here. This is bigger than you. Yeah. This isn't – you need to fucking get through whatever it is you got to get through and you move to another platform because this is bigger than you. There's people relying on you to get them through their day to days. Yeah. Started thinking about it. I was like, fuck, maybe I am being selfish, mm -hmm. but I was also depressed at the same time, man. I just yeah. had my whole world taking away from me Yeah. You know, because of my dumb ass mouth. Yeah. That I can't, I can't imagine how, how that must've felt like, um, like, I, I literally was depressed as shit. I'm not lying. Yeah, because you've, you, you've built up something on your own. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, I've, screw that, man. I'm glad that you, you jumped ship. Like, you managed to make, make something of it on Mixer, though. Where do you see yourself in five years, then? Like, do you still... Where do I see myself now in five years? Yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully, with at least in the next month, uh, me and you develop our own porn site where it's just me and you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that was a scary laugh, dude. I'm You're like, like ah. the, only, the only viewers of the, the bar, our own party. <laughs> you try to get me kicked off, Max, on me. <laughs> nah, uh, five five years from now, um, I want to have an even more badass and bigger community community on Mixer than what I already have, um, which now I can't ask for anything more. Yeah. Um, and I want to be that better dad. Yeah. You know, I do this whole thing for my son, man. That's This is why I grind every day. It's the reason I get up. And and don't get me wrong. I enjoy life. It's a very beautiful thing. Yeah. But it's shit 80% of the time. Yeah, so I just want to make... good, but the gameplay is shit. <laughs> the real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how old is how old your son just now? Uh, he's seven. He'll seven. be Well, he'll be seven in uh, June. Oh, yeah. That's when the trouble starts kicking in. Like they're just going to get older and <laughs> cause more shit. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. And you know it sucks because I'm a very trolly person. Yeah. Um, that my son started being a troll at like the age of four, so he Stop fucks with me a lot yeah. now. Like <laughs> piss, and I have to sit back and be like, "All right, dude, you're you're kind of fucking funny, but I can't let you know this." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because because he'll use it against you, you know. <laughs> then you need you need to try and beat him to show your authority. <laughs> so, if you weren't a streamer, what do you think you would have been? Um, 
at this age, uh, you know, I'd, I'd probably say I'd still be working. I used to be a system administrator uh, for Dole Fresh Fruits and Vegetables. Um, I was basically a glorified hacker and took care of 500 end users. So I took all their server work from Hawaii and also in Springfield, Ohio. And then I worked with all their end users with whatever day-to-day PC problems they had and stuff like that. Um, it was great money. Uh, but other than that, you know, I would hope I would be doing something, either comedy or um, maybe got back in the music. But yeah. that's – it would be something along those lines. Just something that you actually take a bit of passion in, like uh, that you enjoy yeah. doing rather than a desk job, 9 to 5. Yeah. I can't do 9 to 5 and then hate my life every day. Like yeah. So if you – for anyone that's out there, please, if there's – a little part of you that says, you know what, I've never tried this and this is something I want to do, do the fucking work, put 110% into it, and find out what happens because you're not yeah. promised tomorrow. Yeah. I really want you guys to understand that. Yeah, it's, that is important as well too if you are trying to build something or do something you really want to do that you do give it your all. Don't give it 90%. Don't give it 95 Give it 100, like 100 plus, everything you've got and you'll, you'll reap what you sow sort of thing. So... Uh, Stay for Dom, we're going to start talking about your journey on Mixer now, okay? So this this section, this question is just so wow. a little bit more, the community get to know a little bit more about you, and then we'll move on to the the hard work that goes into being a Mixer streamer. For anybody in chat who is, you know, interested in starting out streaming, or if you already are up and coming, uh, then this is the crucial information you're going to want to make sure you pay attention to. So what inspired you to start streaming? Uh, uh, you know, um, I, I started this, I, I used to do YouTube. I used to, I've played for some really big, I won't get into those names cause I hate that's in my past. It's not my future. Okay. If it ever becomes a part of my future again, I'm open about it. Most of the people in my chat know about it anyways, but I used to play for a really big, uh, uh, sniping team. One of the biggest sniping teams. I ran my own. I loved putting montages. There was nothing like going for clips on Call of Duty and putting montages together. It was an art. It was a passion. And um, that's what got me started into YouTube. I got pretty big on YouTube and then uh, I quit. And then I did it again and quit because I moved. And then I was about to give up YouTube teams and all that stuff just because of the high school drama bullshit with all the people involved. Yeah. Um, and then one person said, hey, man, you're so fucking funny. You should do this live stream stuff. And this was a little over four years ago. And out of a whim, never had I ever live streamed ever in my life. I, I went on Twitch. I played a game called Limbo. It was a black and white like scroller mm. that you had to figure out like puzzles and stuff. And I'm sitting there just cussing and raging the whole time because I'm legitly fucking mad. Yeah. I mean, throwing shit. And the next thing I know is someone's like, hey, put a donation link up. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, start from and, scratch. Yeah, I was streaming from a console, dude. You know what I'm saying? Not <laughs> yeah. even a – not even a, and I had a badass PC to stream from. I just didn't know how to fucking do it. <laughs> so I put up a donation link, and here's these guys – dropping me money i'm like i just got 300 dollars to fucking yell at my tv are yeah, you that's, serious <laughs> that sort of thing sells though doesn't it like you see all these clips on youtube the, like the rage compilation so yeah that's, that, that's, right. how, that's the foundation of your your like streaming career yeah, is screaming much. at a pc screaming at an <laughs> xbox or a playstation <laughs> yeah 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 and then it just uh from there i took it a little bit more serious and, um, you know, you would start saying, okay, well, I want to better this aspect of the stream. Here, I'll put up $150 for a better piece of equipment so I can try streaming from a PC. And at that time, I went through – I worked at a place I was selling uh, on the side part-time. We just moved. I moved my ex-wife and my son up here because our family was up here. You know, good husband. Um, I, I wanted him to be around his, his grandma and all of his other family members. So um, – I did uh, sales on the side, which I'm good, man. I could sell a woman with white gloves a ketchup popsicle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, it's just because I let I sell myself as a product, not the product I'm selling. Yeah, yeah. I sell myself as a fucking product. So um, they brought in a new manager. 
this guy was a hothead. He he fucking told me to do something when I was already working with another customer, and I told him I was like, "Look, man, don't don't talk to me like that. I'm your I'm your number one salesman up here. Let me do my thing. Obviously, I'm doing things right. So if yeah. you want those numbers to continue and grow from me even more, leave me the fuck alone." Yeah. And uh, he didn't like that. He was a hothead. And then we ended up uh, get into like a scuffle at work. No hands were thrown, but I was gonna, I was gonna sleep this fucking dude. <laughs> um, anyway, the new manager backed him up because I was fairly new to that job. I switched from Dayton to uh, to Canton, yeah. and uh, that dude. It's wild how it all came through. Because I took a couple days myself. I was like, I'm just gonna play some video games. That one, uh, the the Dylan kid told me he was like, dude, try Twitch. I tried it, and then it just went from there. And I yeah, told just- my my ex-wife at the time, I was like, give me six months. So I got uh, I got six months um, where I had pay and everything like that. And I was like, I want to see what I can do. Yeah, and just then work. He, 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 I busted my ass off 8, 10, 12 hours a day. I was doing 12-hour streams for probably the first six. I was doing two streams a day, six to seven hours a piece. I love that though. I can just imagine you screaming at the, at the at the game for that amount of time. You know, <laughs> no wonder you've got a vulgar mouth. <laughs> <laughs> my my neighbors, I had to explain to them what I was doing because they were like there were certain people that really thought I was beating the shit out yeah. of my ex. Yeah. They're like, um, we don't really want to overstep, but. Uh, we also don't want to call the cops and have this like confliction between, you know, both households and stuff like that. And I was like, no, I'm just playing video games. And he, the guy's like looking at me, he's like, you, you get that mad at video games? Oh, fuck them video <laughs> games, dude. Go, you come over to my house and play these fucking games. <laughs> so, so you moved over to Mixer because of the ban on Twitch. So how long have you, how long have you been partnered on Mixer? Oh man, my, my, oh man, the Mixer community. I love y'all. Um, after Twitch, I moved to YouTube gaming, which was a shitty streaming platform. Okay. I still, I have a bigger YouTube channel over there. I still upload videos, but I don't take it serious. I was streaming over there. And this is why I want to say people don't give up on your dreams, no matter how hard it is, because I went two to two and a half years of 10 to 30 viewers, every single live stream from dropping from a thousand people watching yeah. me and gave it a hundred percent every fucking time I went live. If there was one to 10 people in there, I rocked that fucking show. Like there was a thousand people in that crowd. Me and my brother, right when black ops four, uh, beta was coming out. Me and my brother were doing a 72 hour live stream. I would stream 12 hours. I would get some rest, eat. He would stream 12 hours. So the stream went constant. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying YouTube was fucking up and it wasn't putting me in um, the leaderboard. You know, like when you go and search up a game, let's say you're searching Black Ops 4. Yeah, yeah. And then you got the people with the highest views and working down. So we were live for, for 14, 15 hours. I put in multiple emails and said, yo, we're not being seen. I got 30, 40 some people watching me and we should be in the leaderboard. When there's yeah, yeah. people at the bottom that have zero being seen. Um, they said that there wasn't a problem, and it really got to me because I, we were grinding. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. had this whole of what we were about to do. And you couldn't rely it, on the platform? Exactly. Couldn't rely on it. And then a few people were like, try Mixer, try Mixer. Finally, I got so sick and fucking tired of it, and I almost didn't come to Mixer because I know it's owned by Microsoft. Yeah. I'm a PlayStation guy. I used to be the biggest Xbox fanboy until I got my PlayStation, and then I realized what a better console was. For <laughs> I know there's probably a lot of people like fuck this guy, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I tried the I tried it out, and I shit you not, I'm pretty sure you may have even been around for this. I came on Mixer. Um, I got hosted by somebody by the name of Jukebox TV. Uh, he threw me, he said I was speaking very inspirational, um, and uplifting. It seemed like I was doing an uplifting job over here for my first time being here. Yeah. He threw me on post for like 48 people. Okay. Which was badass. We didn't turn that stream off for like three days. We just oh, really? kept going. Kept, kept going. My brother. In, in those three days, we racked up our fucking first two two thousand followers. Awesome. Mixer actually reached out to me. Mixer came into my channel and said, "Hey, 
if it's all right with you, why don't you give us a call right now if it's all right with you in your chat? So I asked my chat because I didn't give a shit. I was still streaming. You know what I'm saying? My, my viewers and community come first. So I said, hey, guys, I don't know what this is about. Maybe it's something bad. Is it okay if I call – I called Seattle directly, Microsoft in Seattle. Um, and then he was like, hey, man, I want to give you – we all talked about it. We've watched your stream for the past day, day and a half. We think you're doing great things over here. Would you like to be a mixer partner? That's awesome, mate. My understanding, that's never been done. Yeah. So that's one cool thing to throw out there. You know what I'm saying? Like – the whole going back to don't give up on your dreams because I, I wasn't – I was barely making my bills. I was racking my brain every fucking day just doing my passion, wondering what my next step was going to be. And out of nowhere, this just fucking blew up. I think that's a good thing as well. That's probably what you needed at that time of your life because you were rocking like a thousand viewers you know, on Twitch, losing that – and then trying to pursue something on YouTube, and then that's kind of screwed you over. And then yeah. when you take a, a leap of faith and join, jump onto Mixer, like getting that part, them calling you, Mixer calling you, and getting that partnership, that's probably been something, you know, the, the turnaround, you know, the back up, you've hit the rock bottom, so to speak, and then back yeah. uphill. That's awesome, man. That's, that's amazing to hear that right now. It was the greatest feeling in the world, dude. I, I remember the day that it happened, I just grabbed my fucking son, and yeah. just cried, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was years Emotionally. of struggling, not wanting to give up for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time I think that I'm, I've ever, like, tried to quit this, it always went back to, how's Dom going to feel about this? Because he, he he puts me on a pedestal, dude, because I play video games. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, he doesn't see all the hard work that goes into it. But I, I, just, I just could never do it, man. So what um you said Dom so is that what the sniping for Dom is that what the the name is about yeah yeah so when that name originated um some people know this maybe a lot of people don't uh that's when I was talking about doing the whole Call of Duty montage thing when I knew I was about to have my son I made a YouTube channel up I stopped all the sniper teams uh that I had any engagement with um and I called a team called Sniping for Dom on YouTube. I grab players from FaZe, Darth, Dare, Era, and Animal, your biggest sniping teams that were out there at that time. Um, we used to do montages called Our Secrecy. So I had an idea that we all signed into the 4DOM account, or if there was 4DOM, 4DOM5, 4DOM6, yeah. they were all secret players. And in each montage that we brought out, one player from a team would be – be announced of who it was yeah so you would see us out in lobbies just i mean we were killing shit like we we didn't we had nothing but a five on if you don't know what that is five on screen you yeah. had to you couldn't use just a quad like a lot of people were like like quads are really good clips man especially with a sniper but we did five ons or like quad headshot feeds five on headshot feeds and they were just and they had the most amazing um editing yeah. ever put into them like they will blow your fucking mind so that's yeah that's how it all started man and then uh it just grew from there so was it for dom like, named after your son then like yeah yeah, yeah. so his his name is dominic orion malone uh -huh. orion is, is in the constellation when you put his initials together it's dom too so that's awesome mate i like that mm -hmm. it's, it's not like you know dentist derek or something like <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> What sacrifices have you made to become a partner? Have you made any sacrifices? Oh, yeah, dude. I My sanity, for one, um, I, I grind, man. That's what I do. One, right, right. Just because a lot of people just think that that we sit behind a TV and play video games. You don't understand what it takes when your chat's moving and you're trying to, you know, be one of those partners that want to interact so much yeah. while focusing on the game, focusing on the chat, making sure that, you know, your originals know that you still fucking love them or everybody that's out there seeking some sort of attention. When you're done after six to eight hours of a stream, you are literally drained. Yeah, and my day doesn't stop after that, dude. I go out of my way to host and raid my subs all throughout the night. I do not stay off my phone. That is something yeah. that I believe in. I cannot sit there and tell someone that 
I'm sorry, I can't support your dream. Because if people never supported my dream, I wouldn't be in yeah. the fucking situation that I am now. Give, give, give like the people who support you, like their, your time to support right. them sort of thing. It's like a two-way relationship. Right. That's the way I see it as well. And it's, it's, it's refreshing. It's good to see, like hear that from another streamer as well, because some people can get caught up and, you know, they have the chat, they have the chat going, they have the subs sort of thing. I like that as well because it is hard to keep conversation going if you have 100 viewers. You can't have yeah. 100 conversations, but you can still, there is ways to talk to your chat and to tell them that you know they're there and you're having, try to converse with them as much as you possibly can and keep a high skill level at Call of Duty or whatever game it is you're playing. Do you feel yeah. like you've gained... Uh, You've gained more then than you lost out on, so you've lost out on your sanity. So do you think you're, you've gained a lot more positive? Like, I mean, I mean, yeah, and that and and that's a that's an objective type of thing. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I always feel drained because I just don't always stop. I I start in the morning. I start my day off usually with a with a workout about eight thirty, just because I'm trying to keep. I'm getting older, you know. Plus for my son, I want to be able to run around with him and never be out of breath. Yeah. Um. So I start off that uh, at eight thirty in the morning. By ten thirty, I'm live. I usually get off at four in the afternoon, and then I host and raid. I go around them, make my rounds on Mixer, say hi to everybody, tell them to keep going, keep grinding. You're doing great. I get off. I make dinner or go out to dinner with my girlfriend, and then I'm back on my phone again, networking with people yeah. you know that d I didn't get to see before, and then eventually by eleven o'clock, eleven thirty at night. Um, I, I finally put myself in bed and I'm on my phone for about another hour and then I wake up, repeat, you know, the only day I take off, which I never used to do and I have to now, um, people, if you guys are streamers, please do this because it's going to fucking get to you and it's going to take you out of your element. Take at least one day off a week. I understand the grind. Trust me. I, I've done it for four years. Take at least one day out of the week to focus on yourself, even if it's just playing video games off off camera. Yeah. Do something for yourself. You've heard it there first, and is right there, chat. Um, that's almost like a like, like a standard day of, of being a streamer. You're always switched on to what you can do because you're building a business. You're not just broadcasting good gameplay you know because there's so much more you have to take in so much to so many variables you heard that he wakes up does a workout you know try and get, keep his health active we were talking about the importance of your your health last week with joe's d4w but then you start networking you do your networking as well go around and say hi to everybody because that is important you need to make sure you're keeping yourself you know uh in tune with other streamers and that uh you're if it's a new streamer you you're checking out you're introducing yourself and you're encouraging other streamers and just showing positive energy in their chat and their communities will see that and then maybe they'll check you out so it's a good way to keep yourself your, your name recognized through the mixer platform as well so if you are like thinking about streaming make sure you show genuine interest in other streamers not just going there for follow for follow i know you guys probably know that you shouldn't do that you know but that's what i mean like it is important so networking right there even when he goes to bed when when do, uh sniping for dom goes to his bed he's still or he's still in streamer mode, he's always doing it. Everybody, you should do that, you should apply that today. I actually get in trouble sometimes, I feel bad because when I'm on my phone, like uh, obviously I've had a baby girl now, so I can't actually do it as much as, as I would like to. Sure, but, um, sure. Yeah, I've, 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 I've been, uh, I've, I've received the receiving end of a, a, a hefty few arguments, you know. <laughs> you're off your fucking phone! <laughs> 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 but it's gonna be a minute, just wanna say hi, nope. <laughs> So it is important, guys, to make sure that you are networking and uh, it's a long, it is a long day being a streamer. So it's not just a case of turn your Xbox on, play it, turn it off. That's you. I'm a streamer. So just bear that in mind, guys. Um, right. So we're actually going to start talking about the hard work that actually goes into streaming. So make sure you guys listen and pay close attention because this information from each individual streamer. So say, for instance, last week's uh, guest, Sniper, uh, Joe's D4W, his approach may have been different to what your approach could be and maybe cycle plays might fit in with your approach so this is why we have multiple partners because everybody's got different journeys on mixer but they all have the same objective is to have good positive content and you know there's yeah. multiple ways to doing that so we're going to ask uh how much work would you say goes into streaming be before i get into this i just i just want people to know like if this is something you want to do or anything for your passion there's you need to work hard.
for what you want because it's not going to come without a fight. Yeah. Don't think that this is an overnight thing. You you have to be strong you, and courageous, and you you could do anything that you put your mind to. I promise you, man. Um, if someone puts you down or criticizes you, just keep on believing in yourself and uh, turn it into something positive. Yeah. Once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. I swear to you, and that's probably going to be one of the biggest things to overcome. But as far as much as much work goes into this, man, there's like, – like I said, I mean think about it. I, I don't do – like you said, we don't do nine to fives. We do 14, 16-hour shifts. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Whether we're behind it be, – between video editing, I hate video editing. I make pennies. Off of putting when I do my vlogs, I know the community loves when I do my vlogs on YouTube. They enjoy them. It makes them laugh. I'm in agony the whole time because I'll edit a video for five to seven hours for you guys to watch a twenty to thirty minute clip. Yeah. And I get pennies off of that. That's not to make money. Yeah. That's not me being selfish saying, Oh, I, I want this cash. Yeah, some That's people don't even make money off I love like, you enough. for free. Like a lot of right, people do it for exactly. free. So, but it's something it needs to do because it could turn into another source of income, another profit sort of sure. thing. Sure. Sure. Um what what uh, does any was there any other streamers that inspired you to streaming? You you mentioned the boys earlier on. Um the streamers who inspired you to start streaming. It was just to get you know what? I, at that time, it was just I, – I was lucky enough that I was so big in the sniping community. I had a lot of awesome gamers yeah. that I played with, Pr guys now that are making millions and millions of dollars. I don't like name bombing um, or anything like that, but but these guys, you know, they're, they're made for the rest of their life because of gaming. So I've never been – you know, I still there's a few people that I that I watch on Mixer, and there's maybe one or two people uh, that I watch that's on YouTube yeah. or something like that, and uh, they're very very big YouTubers. Um, over on Mixer, I mean, I love that you did. Psycho is a phenomenal fucking human being. Yeah, I am not gonna lie. I've never met the dude, but just the way he carries himself with the positivity in his stream. That dude is making big fucking moves, yeah. and he he he'll tell me like you know I write nice things to him on Twitter. And he's like, he's like, God, I can't believe this. You're fucking sniping for Dom, and you're telling me how awesome I'm doing. Like, dude, I'm 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 sorry, I'm I'm not that nice to go out of my way to just anybody and say what you're doing is mind blowing, mind blowing, oh, yeah. and you're gonna fucking kill shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and most of the time, I don't get a lot of time to see bigger streamers every once in a while i'll check out arcanaut i think he i love his sarcasm yeah. i don't chat i lurk okay uh, but it's all on smaller streamers channels if i ever step out of you know going to visit people's channels because i want them to be able to have the same chance that yeah. i was given yeah so you kind of break out of your network your own network mm -hmm. sort of thing to help mm -hmm. like help out and encourage the little streamer i love that and what you're saying as well like you don't you wouldn't tell someone they're doing mind-blowing stuff unless you truly believed it and that's a humbling thing to do because everybody who has seen the episode two with psycho plays the dude is absolutely he is like you said mind-blowing and is a genuine humble man like it like overall like, it does nothing yeah. but positive and great things for the mixer platform as a whole and his community and you can tell that he's genuine for here's i know we're, we're interviewing you but here's the thing about psycho because i i was a recipient of it once with his he could have his community save up all the sparks and give them to him and, and be a money grabber sort of thing but it doesn't yeah he makes milestone madness, yeah, milestone yeah. madness and he makes a, he's made like a like a, a, a show out of it and it's it's attracted so much positivity throughout the platform mm. and I, I can't i couldn't believe it and it's like he, instead of grabbing money he goes and helps other partners that and it doesn't want to credit that that for me is like it's it's an absolute reflection in what this platform is supposed to be and it's mm. a fantastic streamer guys so if you haven't followed uh psycho plays please go give that man all the love in the world it, it's crazy man because a lot of people and I get this too because of my mouth or how sarcastic I am. People that don't know me that are fresh to the channel, I don't want people to go away. I want you to get us to know because I've seen it in Psycho's channel too. A lot of people will go in there and be like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and people will say that about me too. If someone comes in and tries to troll me, 
bitch bet I don't sit back and troll you a thousand times harder yeah. just to make my community that's there every day laugh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And some people get the wrong impressions of a lot of us streamers. I am the same person behind camera as I am in real life. I've proved it time and time again. You meet me in real life. Bet we're not doing some dumb shit. We're not going to get twisted and get drunk off our asses. We might twist each other's nipples. Yeah. Who fucking knows? Who knows? Anything can happen. You know? <laughs> Phil, tra Phil transparency. That's the way it'd be. Uh, we were talking yeah. about this last week. And uh, it is an important thing that you don't try and put on a show. Like, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I've, I've seen so many fakes, dude. Yeah. I went to PAX East. Uh, I, I will never disrespect anyone on stream live or actually probably not even in person but there was a lot of people that i saw that were supposed to be at the top of their game and they were fake as shit dude oh really it's that's disgusting. not something you want to be looking forward to as a mix of partners <laughs> right right right, <laughs> right stay exactly. humble just make sure you stay yeah. humble no matter yeah. how big or successful your channel becomes um have you ever had any doubts about your journey on mixer before at all and if you have so how did you <sighs> overcome them no, man. No. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, when I first started the platform, I had to. I had to give it a go. I couldn't give up on on my dream. And ever since I've been on here, Mixer is a community that seems like everybody wants to help. Yeah. Um, now, some of your bigger streamers, yeah, they don't need to. They're on their own grind. It may not be that they don't want to help, but we're all fucking grinding our ass off every day. It is a cut. What does anyone wants to think about this or not? It is a cutthroat fucking business. So I think if you're one of those streamers that are bigger that go out of your way to help smaller people or other bigger streamers, you actually give a fuck yeah. about your platform. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's it's been a wild ride for me, man. And I'm very humble. I cry. My stream, dude, I got donated in, in an hour uh, $6,200 about a month and a half ago. Jesus. Um, I bawled. I threw up. I bawled. I fucking cried again. I think it's sometime I may have shit my pants and it's said overwhelming, it. like the the, <laughs> the generosity, the things like that. Like I've noticed it as well. Like I tried to stream on Twitch, like I, I didn't like it at all. Like it wasn't even when I was streaming; it was when I was in other people's streams. It was just full of negativity and things like that. And on Mixer, like that is just full of warming, welcoming, like people, and it is full of positivity and. And, like, the more work you put into it, you'll feel a little bit more, I think. Like, people are more receptive to your content and mm. want to show you that appreciation. And they do it humbly. And being able to re receive that amount humbly as well, it's, it is overwhelming, man. So don't be embarrassed for crying or anything like that, you know? Yeah, <laughs> unless, right. unless you hurled on stream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, they <laughs> heard it. Yeah, yeah, they heard it. Luckily, it wasn't right here. That's a legit thing. Like, I went through and what, when I put the video up on YouTube of the highlights, you literally just hear just straight, just nastiness. I'm pretty sure half my soul left my my mouth. I threw up so hard. But, uh, <laughs> no, it was crazy. And then you know what I did, the type of person that I am? I went and passed out five hundred dollars that day to just random streamers. I gave money to my my normal people that I know that are going through some real life stuff. Mm -hmm. I dropped about a grand that day after that, and then five hundred dollars to streamers. I you never met before. I didn't make a big deal about. It. I didn't tell people let's go raid them. You know what I'm saying? So that's you know people that do that is uh we need more people like that. I'm not speaking yeah. myself up. I'm just saying. You know, if you if you've had a great day and you've done something awesome, um, and pay you've met a certain goal, go help someone else. Yeah, pay it forward. Pay it forward. Thing. Pay yeah. it forward. Exactly. That's awesome, man. I like that as well. See, it's like taking the time out to help that. Like, if you were hosting someone or raiding someone, not choosing like the biggest partner up at the top of the wheel, like top top. The and goal. hoping for something in return, because yeah, I yeah, think yeah. most people do that, and yeah. that's that's never been me. I don't host any bigger streamers. Oh well, I mean, not your, not your ones that are dropping like three hundred to a thousand views. Viewers, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's awesome, man. It's it's that's what that's the kind. I'm glad that you're on the show because this is the kind of like the the output I want people to receive from this. You know, like it's a, it's the positivity. It's not just people because a lot of people, uh, a lot of viewers, uh, could have the mindset or oh, he's just grabbing money or like things like that. You know, they're just big and like up their own arse sort of thing. But like. There's a lot that goes on behind uh, being a partner, and the most rewarding thing is helping the little guy. I love when I love hearing about people doing that. Like, see, because like I'm sure you remember your first host. I know I remember mine's. And if the people you're going to host and they become partnered, 
that's going to be the point that's going to be in their mindset so they'll start to do that as well so the community the mixer platform will grow with all the streamers and just showing that right. that, that mentality could pass it on just pay it forward if you could give three key, key pieces of advice to a streamer or like someone who wants to start streaming or is already making a journey on mixer what three p what three pieces of advice advice would you give do the fucking work do the work. It's not ha- it's not going to fucking happen overnight. Do the fucking work. Find out if it's for you. Network. No follow for follow. I know this has been discussed in your other shows. We hate see- half the time I hate seeing Channel 1 Plus or hype zones come in my channel because it's filled of the degenerates that say follow for follow. Fuck you. I worked my ass off. I've been yeah. doing this, if you think about it, for almost seven years. I mean, not streaming, but a good four of that. I've put my fucking time in. I've created my community. I've busted my ass. I've cried my tears. I, I've I've hurt relationships in the midst of all this. And um, do the fucking work, man. It's that simple. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But don't give that half-ass... I want to play games and make money. If you're coming at this trying to make money, you already fucked up. Yeah. You don't belong here. Bye. We'll see you. It's, it's all about net- Exactly. It's all about networking. Play games with people around the world. Learn cultures. You know what I'm saying? Do some. Make someone laugh on a mic. You know? Uh, it just uh, it blows my mind. Mm. The- um. Uh, you've still got one more key piece. Would you say like a schedule or something? Think of your TV. Yeah, definitely. Like a, like a yeah, schedule. definitely. Uh, be consistent. You, you, you. Uh, no matter how entertaining you are, no matter what you bring to the table, no matter if you need the money or not, how much money you put into it, if you don't have a consistent schedule, like I said, this is a very cutthroat yeah. business. People will not come back. Yeah, they watch you know other streamers. They watch they watch other similar content. That's okay right. for people for viewers to do that. You can't get mad at anyone for watching who they want to watch. But if you don't stick to your schedule and you don't stay consistent, and then your viewers, yep. yeah, your viewers are going to go, and it's going to be your fault. And that is the harsh truth. Um, you kind of answered my next question when you were talking about the hype zones in Channel One. Um, I'll ask it anyway because there could be a different answer to it. Do you believe that hype zone and Channel One? could are an improvement to the mixer platform or do you feel that it's not organic growth like you said it's a lot of follow <clears throat> follows like sure sure uh i think uh both of those are phenomenal concepts mm-hmm. okay one um even even like the up and coming section on mixer is yeah. huge yeah. you know what i'm saying like like hey you're new we want to put you on the front page to help you out same thing with hype zone you, this may be your first time streaming, and you could pull 20 to 30 follows. You know, as someone that's never been a streamer, you get 20 or 30 follows in one stream. Yeah, you're hyped as hell. How, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just wild. You're like, fuck, let's go. This is awesome. I feel really good. And you're going to come back with more positive content. Yeah. Uh, but along comes the negative yeah. and how you react to it. It's just like life. It's it's whatever the hand that is done to your advantage um i tell people instantly when they're when i get hosted by channel one plus um which is a very decent amount or hype zones and stuff as soon as i see them come in hey guys no disrespect this is not a follow for follow zone you will not grow a good community off of this one because i'm trying to help them not trying to be a dick yeah that is you know it's it's not just me talking shit it's like hey i want you to succeed doing this if this is a passion for you Fucking give it a hundred percent, and I'll probably have your back if if I get to know you. But don't ask. You, I can't stand when people come into my chat. They don't even say hi to the yeah. streamer. Yeah. You're in our fucking world. Our and it's not just about me. It's about my community. My community doesn't want to see that. It's twenty fucking nineteen. Get that shit the fuck out of here. It might have worked in twenty fifteen. Yeah. You know. I, th- I you can feel that as well. Like um. I've definitely had that experience uh, a number of times in my chat. Like um, even when I started out, like maybe my first thousand followers, and people would come in, and the very first like thing they would say wouldn't be, it wouldn't be hi, it'd be can I play 
or like something like that. <laughs> they're not inter- they're not showing any interest but themselves. Like they're not saying, "Hi, how's the stream going? How are you doing today? How's your weekend?" You know, they're not asking right, right, the right. genuine questions. So they definitely you. If you ever go into anybody's chat and just type "Can I play?", you're you probably get banned straight away or timed out or something. Like you're not going to have a. a good... I, I want to say something about that, and I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way. I want you all to know, whomever may be watching this on Mixer or YouTube after it's done or anything like that. One, we really just want to play games. That's why we're doing this. We aren't obligated to play with you. We don't have to. I play with my subs. If you support me, I run sub days to play with them. There's been times that I've even questioned doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. sometimes when we're streamers, we need everything to be perfect. You might have a guy that comes in game that's got a loud headset or with a feedback. That fucks up the stream. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or two, you might be shitty at the game. It puts us in a bad mood because we're used to doing better with better people. Yeah. But I try to – on those days, no lie and no disrespect to anybody, I usually try to do a little bit of meditating because you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. You know, if, if I'm already having a bad day, that's a bad start. I'm going to start screaming <laughs> at somebody. And that's not what I want to do on it live stream. It comes hundred dollar dono screaming. At the <laughs> yeah, <game again. laughs> yeah, yeah, right. If that's the case, then fuck yeah, I'll break this TV over my fucking head. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, see, like, I like that as well because that is it's a bold statement to make, but it is one hundred percent true, and I can I can support that because we are only broadcasting, you know. And if people expect us to play, everybody expects us to play with them. That's right. going to ruin the flow. You know, it's not it's not going to be a like a fluent stream. It's going to interrupt the flow. It could slow things down. It could speed up things way too fast. It plays with the streamer's mindset, which then reflects back on the stream, and then exactly. the chat will start to feel that. So that is as a true thing that streamers are not um, obligated to play with you. They do because they appreciate your support and want to get involved with you guys and interact that is a privilege so just bear that in mind when you go into people's chats and if you ask to play and they don't do it don't don't take a negative approach don't think like oh like fuck him or fuck her sort of thing like, right right like, right just respect that because you are if you're really supporting them it's not really about what you want sort of thing you have to you know respect their decision so say for instance someone went live and they weren't playing with followers they were playing solos on call of duty or solos on or they were playing fifa or like any game you know i, don't, I know i've just said all the games i play but i don't do it came mm. in my head but you have to respect that and if you still want to watch and hang out and get watch for the streamer and not the game you know and just right. because you've already made that, that that connection with the streamer and talk to them ask the questions about the day because the way the way like mixer works and i know that this goes along with your chat like you have a friendship with a lot of your viewers where you could be sitting you know drinking a beer and just talking to your chat for hours and you know you'll interact it's like a friendship guys mm-hmm. like i love yeah. going to people's channels and talking to them i don't ask questions about all like i'll ask them how the stream has been and things like that but it's important to make sure that you make that bond with your viewer like the, the streamer viewer bond and if you do that, like, and if you do want to play, they're probably maybe more obligated to play with you sort of thing. They'll feel like they want to play with you because you're showing genuine interest and support for what the streamer is doing with their business and they're helping them out. And it's obviously, it's greatly appreciated when when uh, you do that. Yeah. So what do you think is, what's next for you and your channel? Is there anything... Um, I am currently us. right now prepping for a $40,000 uh, blackout tournament uh, with guys that are, and I've said this the past couple days, it's wild, man. These guys are, they're heavy hitters. They, they're they all better than me, which rarely is ever the case because I piss fucking perfection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you do. I like so how you're you all. Yeah, yeah. I, I so see, you do. I seen you. I seen you like get so mad playing Alcatraz. I'm like, at perfection. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but other than that, as, say forty thousand uh, dollars. Like, yeah, yeah, forty. It's uh for forty k. I think first place is taking fifteen grand. Uh, but the the guys that I'm playing with, um, one oh, of them, shit, uh, Spanky, is another partner here on on Mixer. Kid's a god. He's got. I'm pretty sure he holds the Xbox World record for uh, kills in Blackout on Xbox. And then uh, one of my old time friends from Twitch. Uh, desire and then Spanky's friend, um, but I'm looking forward to that. Unfortunately, it can't. I won't be streaming it. Uh, you, 
when when you're going for money like that, yeah, that's something you want to complete have full control over. Yeah, yeah. No, because okay. even though if I'm playing games, I still do this without being live. If, if there's ever a time, which is very random, because I don't like coming down in my office and playing games off stream yeah. because it's my fucking job. You know what I'm saying? I spend so much time down here. But I'll still look at my screen. If there's ever a time that I'm just randomly checking something out, I'll look over just to see if my chat's moving. There's no fucking chat there. I'm not live. So, you know, that's very nerve-wracking. And I'm a different type of beast. Everyone thinks that I'm great at Call of Duty as it is now. Just imagine what it's like when I have full attention to the on game. the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So, so do you play Xbox anywhere else apart from your office? Is that what you're saying? Like, will you, will you take part in this tournament not in your office? Um, I only, I only get on my Xbox twice a week and that is just for my subs. I, I kind of despise getting, because the developers, the Xbox is a phenomenal system and don't get me wrong. Okay. I don't want to get into that whole, yeah. which console is better in theory, the hardware in the Xbox one X is better than my PS4 pro, but the developers don't throw enough blood, sweat, tears, and money into it. So games for me that I play that make my channel and what I'm known for run a thousand times better on the PlayStation and work better. So so is this is your tournament going to be on a PlayStation? Like what details can you tell the chat about it? Is this, is this going to be open? Xbox for this. So it's going to be an Xbox? Yeah. yeah I'll be is this playing. going to be an open? Is it invite only or is it an open? Uh, it's an open It's an open tournament. It's being hosted by Boom TV. Um uh, but yeah, first place I think takes fifteen grand. Second place is like twelve grand or something. So split that between you know a couple people. That you know for one of the guys that I'm running with, the monster Spanky, yeah. he uh, he'll be able to spend a year's worth. You know his his rent since he splits it with his roommates. That covers him a year's worth of rent to keep fucking grinding on his channel and not have that stress on his shoulders. Like when am I going to make my next paycheck? Am I going to be able to pay my rent? Yeah. So. You know, that's huge. Uh, for me, that gives me a little bit more flexibility. One, I get to spoil Dom a little bit, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, being someone's coming up and stuff. And uh, two, um, I get a little bit more comfortability in my own. Oh, I think we're this may all end this for way. us tomorrow. You... Do you have okay. a date? Do you this have may a date all end for us. Uh, it is Thursday. It's uh, this upcoming Thursday. Um, so uh, that's from 2 to 6 Eastern, 2 p.m. Eastern, I believe. Um, but I'm not going to be streaming that. Um, tonight, I'm focused on Mortal Kombat comes out tonight. I don't ever do night streams, yeah. but I will be going live tonight uh, doing the new Mortal Kombat. And then the PS4 exclusive. My week this week is crazy. Um, just because when you're a streamer and you have a set schedule doesn't mean that's how you work that way. Yeah, yeah. You, you adapt to whatever's coming out for future growth. Okay. Yeah, so it's night. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'll be picking up Mortal Kombat and doing a night stream, sleeping for a couple hours, getting back up and stream it all day again, uh, tomorrow. And then Thursday night, the exclusive PS4 game called Days Gone which is going to be mind blowing comes out. I'm doing that tournament from I'll be playing at 10 a.m. up until two for the tournament, which could take up to six or seven o'clock. Getting directly off, taking a shower, going to GameStop, picking up Days Gone, <laughs> coming home, and streaming another five or six hours. Yeah, you know, for you're going to have to make sure you get some rest and some food and things like that too. Um, that actually we're actually running low in time. Um, I want to say thank you very much because. Uh, I know you're doing a night stream tonight, but you did take time out of your schedule today to be on the show, man. And I've actually had a really good laugh with you. <laughs> it's, really, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate, to get to know more about you, your character, what you find, you know, the the genuine side. And, you know, it's great that the, to see, you know, because a lot of people when first think, uh, when first see you, think, oh, he's, he's dead, obnoxious, and, you know, with a vulgar mouth. But there's, that's, I'm a that's big all... teddy bear, man. I yeah. love people. <laughs> so, uh, guys, uh, if you don't mind, just everybody right now, if you can, please go follow Sniping for Dom, an absolute treasure in our hearts already. And me and him are going to make a porn video, apparently. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to last 20 seconds, so it's all good. Um, so, big man, thank you very much once again, mate. And uh, I hope you, you enjoy Mortal Kombat when it comes out, guys. Yeah, See, we'll thank stream you, it tonight. If you love your Mortal Kombat, we know he does. 
And you, what, have you got the code once more with the code for the blood? What's the code? Uh, A B A C A B B A. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of gore and a lot of blood in this man's stream tonight, guys. Make sure you stop by and check it out. Yeah. Big man, I'm going to say I love you and then I'll leave you. Right, thank you very you much, mate. I'll be on your stream later on. I'll just see what's up. Have a good night, yeah, mate. All right, have a good day. Too, buddy. Later, man. So, guys, thank you very much once again for stopping by for episode four. I think it's safe to say it was an absolute fucking privilege and a pleasure to get to know that man. He's absolutely hilarious. And when I was talking to him before we actually went live, man, we, had, we were actually just sitting, chilling, having a good few laughs, man. So, uh, definitely, definitely go become become part of his community an absolute fantastic streamer and very interactive and he cherishes his chat so if you follow that channel that man's channel you'll become a valuable member of his community and make sure you drop him a sub just show him that support so next week guys we have the right trigger episode five we're almost at the end of season one guys we have the right trigger coming in so we can get to know a little bit more about that man this guy is an absolute sharpshooter on PUBG. And uh, I'm actually really get excited to get to know more, more about him. And I think it'll be a good time. So I will see you guys next Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Peace.